Worldwide, 795 million people suffer from hunger every day, and over 2 billion suffer from micronutrient deficiency or hidden hunger. But if sustainable forest management were to be adopted and implemented more widely, this figure could be reduced. The result would be better protected ecosystem services, more sustainable food production and increased food security. Covering one third of the Earth's land area, forests provide essential goods and services and are a source of food, nourishment and shelter for more than 25% of the planet's population. However, despite forest multiple benefits, global net forest loss is estimated at 3.3 million hectares per year. And much of the area lost, roughly 80%, is used for agriculture. But this situation can change. More than 20 developing countries have proved that food security can be increased while maintaining or expanding forest cover. So we're trying to get away from the either or of forestry and agriculture, making sure there's a much more integrated, what we call a systems approach to, to food security. Forested watersheds and wetlands supply 75% of the world's accessible fresh water. Forests also help combat the effects of climate change. When managed sustainably, forests can absorb around 10% of global carbon emissions, mitigating climate change and its impact on food production. To maintain good health, or when they are unwell, millions of rural people use as a first resort non-wood forest products as medicine. For many, the forest is their medicine cabinet. Forests and trees also provide fodder and shade for livestock to keep them healthy for consumption or sale. For over 50 million people in the forestry sector, the income that forest products generate 600 billion US dollars is critical for buying food and maintaining households. This includes globally per year income from round wood, sawn wood, panels, pulp and paper production. Millions of people around the world depend sometimes entirely on forest foods that are often rich in micronutrients or protein. In many cases, for nutrients to be better absorbed, raw food needs to be cooked or processed. Globally, 2.4 billion people, one in three, use wood from forests and trees to sterilize water and cook meals. Trees have always been the world's most used source of renewable energy and are a central part of our planet's energy system. Over 50% of the world's wood production is for wood fuel. Uh, government and policy makers have for a long time overlooked the important contribution forests and trees can make in order to improve food security and nutrition. And now it is about time to do something. By 2050, the global population is forecast to grow to 9 billion and the need to produce more food will only increase. Therefore, despite the recent and slight decrease in deforestation, it is likely that the pressure on forests will remain high unless different forms of land management policies and production are introduced. The starting point is to look at and manage trees and agriculture in integrated ways, while acknowledging and protecting the rights of local communities and indigenous peoples. In view of the expected impact of climate change on food production, 
we will be facing tremendous challenges feeding a growing world population. Now forests have a very important and often overlooked role to play in supporting sustainable agriculture. And only if we take an integrated landscape approach, breaking down the sectoral boundaries between forests, agriculture, land and water, can we take the necessary steps to ensure a more food secure world. Yeah.